So from what you've seen, you guys, you know this is going to be really fun. So just come with me, stay with me till the end of this video to see how this trip went. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and guess what? It is just a little bit like 8:30 in the morning. You see what I'm telling you about the Sudan sun? So the sun is already up. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. So, guess what, you guys? Today I am going on a trip to Jabal Al Awliya, and the place is like it's a waterside, and there's like camera rides, there's fish. I'll get to eat fish. Hopefully, I'll take you guys and you. What am I saying? So, I'll take you guys with me on this trip, and we'll see how it goes. I hope we are all going to like it. I hope I will enjoy and have a good time. And you guys, I hope you will enjoy and have a good time with me. So, see ya! Bye! I know you might be wondering like, what is this place, okay? This is Sudan, like the real Sudan. It's not all that you see people post on their social media. Places like this, like a lot of places like this actually do exist in Sudan. So don't be surprised. If you have never been to Sudan, welcome to Sudan. <laughs> So this is just like the entrance but when we arrived there's a junction and there's a bridge that is supposed to take us into the main place that we're going to guess what they only allow it's a one way it's a one lane bridge it's only like one lane for the cars to go and we were in a luxurious bus so they don't allow those kinds of buses to pass through guess what happened oh my god i I didn't even get the chance like to take videos or photos of that because I was in the most uncomfortable car ride ever. So we had to get on those cars for them to transport us into the place. Oh my god, subhanAllah. I don't even want to relive that moment because it was so embarrassing and so uncomfortable. But then we went. The gist is just coming like the real gist is coming on our way back. We came back on foot. It's almost like I don't even know how long that bridge was, but it's like it's very long and it's really far. <laughs> yeah, it's really long. Like I used to walk. I love walking on foot, but that day we were super tired. It was not even funny, but yeah, we made it. So this is us after we have come down from the lorry. The kind of lorry that we actually got on was the kind if you're in like northern nigeria you know the kind of lorries they transport um cattle from the village market to into the city those were the kinds of um lorries Th that's the kind of lorry we, we went on so we just came down and we're trying to settle to eat and then tr try to explore the place and here come the kings of the desert like i love camels they're elegant they're regal but guess what i'm actually a little bit scared of them just a little bit because I was on a camel twice and it's been really long. Unfortunately, I didn't get on one. My fear got in the way and I didn't get on one. So Zainab got, but Zainab got on one. I will show you guys the video later. It's coming up. So this is pretty much it. It was really fun. I like the camels. There were camels everywhere and this is us on the canoe. These guys are super strong. They are actually pushing us from the beginning of the water into the like, not the middle, but like just for them to go far, for them to be able to row when we are on it. The water was actually nice. It was cool, but I didn't stick my hand or my feet into the water.
water because it was really dirty for me so we really enjoyed we had fun still on the canoe and this is pretty much it So this is Zainab getting on the camel. <laughs> I don't even want to start saying anything on this because my fear got in the way. I didn't get on one, so let's just leave it that way. So like another thing that I was really surprised, not really surprised, but like that really got to me was how the camel was. Like they listen to them when they speak. Naturally, yeah, I know like animal, animals listen to people, but like how they were responsive, it's like astonishing to be honest. Like I was, I was so over the moon on this camel and how it was getting down, like trying to sit. Subhanallah. Indeed, like Fatabarakallah Ahsan Khalikin, let's just take a closer look at the camel. Like I felt like this camel was just a model. Like I was just making taking videos of this camel. And I'll just leave you guys to see for yourselves also. thing that i really like about going on trips is that you learn and it's not just that you learn but you remember what you learn and you see what you learn like practically if you've noticed i have been putting on some verses of the quran it's like the what will i say like the physical representation of what these verses mean on the camel i wrote like so when you look at a camel, you know that all the details and everything that has been put into it, you know it is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, and how the, like, the sky was lifted, it does not fall, it's not going to fall on us or anything, like it's just up there. And also, how the ground was spread, like it's not even like floating or anything, it's just there. So looking at this... Um, signs from the Quran like seeing them physically around us sometimes we forget that we forget about that but like looking at them subhanallah it just makes you want to ponder upon the verses upon the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is just it a fun fact one thing that really boosts up my confidence is a well ironed niqab like when I looked at this picture I'm like subhanallah I just felt so over the moon so this is the end of the video thank you so much for being with me till the end of the video uh don't forget to like comment subscribe share and just keep sharing it to other people to see what like what sudan has to offer to others thank you